Hey, three signs to of a kick-ass real estate agent. Show real first. All right guys, welcome back. This might sound a little bit like blowing my own toot, but it's for all the agents out there who are aspiring to get to the next level. And also if you're interviewing several agents to uh, decide who you want to exclusively work with. Look, if you're looking for an experienced set of advisors, me and my team are ready to help you. Hit the link below. Let's see if we both qualify to work with each other. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Check this out, okay? Number one thing I always tell people is that an experienced agent or a kick-ass agent should have enough expertise in the market. Now, this is not just blah, blah, and I'm gonna give you a real life example on this, okay? My personal opinion, in my personal opinion, when an agent has about one to three years of experience, they rely on a lot of stories to make or break a deal, right? They don't have their own reference points from their own background or their own um, or their own experience right so they're relying on stories that they've heard they're relying on stories that they've seen other senior agents speak so a lot of times when you're dealing with an agent between the one to three years bracket market or market bracket uh, experience bracket he's going to rely on a lot of stories that are not based on facts okay the three to five year guy has some stories okay I've been there I've been here I've been here I'm here now over 10 years uh, but he's got stories as well sometimes to back up the facts sometimes to make up more stories to sell nothing wrong with that some of those stories are real true stories right if they have a real good mentor here they're going to be able to deliver really well if they don't have a good mentor or if they avoid getting a good mentor they're gonna suck and they're gonna be bad okay the five to ten years guy relies on guiding you with facts now, how does he guide you with facts is because he's already experienced the good, the bad, the ugly previously, okay? Nobody in this business lasts more than five to 10 years and has not seen the bad for their clients, has not seen the bad for themselves. I started with my own first properties back in 2008 and we actually did not create successes out of those properties, okay? We actually took lessons, took hard earned lessons on the chin and now we're okay, okay? I'll give you an example of this area, okay? Uh, me and a partner of mine, we took on a listing and I feel bad for this client, bless him, bless him, bless him. And I, I remember that he wanted 8.5 million for his listing. He, he had to pay the bank, I think 1.3 million, but he was bleeding every day or every month about 10,000 dirhams a month, okay? So this is the price he wanted. We got it exclusively signed on from him. And I think we ended up bringing him an offer of 1.65 after like a long time because the pricing was not correct on this deal, okay? So at 1.85 would never have, he would never have achieved that. Perhaps that was in our naivety when we accepted to take on the listing at 1.85, he was willing to give it to us because every other agent was telling him that he's not gonna get that price. But because we had built our hopes and his hopes high, once we did get that offer of 1.65, he was not willing to take it. In fact, he suffered so much, I think he ended up selling at 1.35 million. I think he was an international businessman. When I look back now, uh, it wasn't so bad for him. Okay, he lost some money perhaps. Uh, there's definitely some of this was his mistake as well because he should have made the deal at this stage but he went through a lot of pain and i think it took him one year i wish i could have advised him better okay so it's just hindsight okay number two a kick-ass agent should have a great support team now back in the day uh, a support team what does a support team do like the support team does the handover of the property property management has a legal lawyer to help the client with back in the day I used to do all of this and obviously you're not going to be able to 
do justice to every single client that you're helping with handover of properties, property management, legal, and so on. Now I run a full support team that the client, they're specialists in that area, and then they help the client with that, okay? Last but not the least, okay, let's make it a little bigger. You should <laughs> recognize that a kick-ass agent that knows his worth can actually make you 10, 20, 30, 50,000, 500,000 dollars on a deal is going to charge for his or her time. A lot of times upfront, that's what I do. If you want to work with me, there is a payable service charge that gets paid upfront before we start working together because I know I bring a lot of value to the table that I've learned humbly over many, many years, right? That can help you, guide you, save you time, resources, money, headaches in the Dubai market, okay? A kick-ass agent should know their worth and then charge upfront to the clients that they're choosing to work with. All right, guys, listen, this is my personal experience. There's a lot of other qualities I've talked about a kick-ass agent should have, such as transparency, honesty, competency, and be very organized in the way they actually lead their clients step by step. I wanted to share only three in this video. Look, if you wanna work with us, there's a link below. Hit it, click it, my team will get in touch and let's see if we are good fit to work together. Hit the like button, subscribe and bell icon. That's for the YouTube channel. Don't forget to the comments section with some love for us. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.